And hello everybody, welcome back to our radiation heat transfer learning journal. So in the last video, we have uh, briefly covered the concept of view factors. It's more of a revision than anything else, uh, how the formula was derived and what does it physically mean. And of course, uh, we see that uh, view factors, they're basically just the fraction, right? The fraction of energy leaving a certain area as compared to the uh, total diffuse energy, total energy leaving that same area. Now, what, what then is the application? What then is the application or relevance? Okay, so basically we want at the end of the day to study to study heat transfer between surfaces, real surfaces, and Okay, we want to study real heat transfer between surfaces, and for real surfaces, uh, they kind of emit diffusely except for these uh, grazing angles. Meaning to say that, by and large, as we were talking about uh, heat transfer, they, they emit diffusely, right? Emit uh, intensity in all directions pretty much equally. Okay except for like very extreme angles, like uh, angles more than 60 degrees. So you can see the theta here. Okay. Okay, I'll just erase all this. And um, yeah, so uh, heat transfer between real surfaces, they tend to be gray, but we want to analyze heat transfer between black surfaces as a baseline first. Then we can sort of uh, look at heat transfer between gray surfaces. So after all that, that thing about view factor, how do we, okay, let's just do a recap. How do we uh, get the heat transfer from A1 to A2? So Q, one to two, remember we did our view factor, uh, view factor, uh, what do you call that, um, formulas. So the view factor, how does the view factor come into this heat transfer? View factor from 1 to 2 equals to Q 1 to 2 divide by all right divide by A what's the total energy leaving this thing? It is EB times A1. So right so if you want Q uh, 1 to 2 you'll find the total energy leaving um, the area A1 yes, EBT into A1 so this is of course an average uh, if there is a temperature difference between uh, the areas then we'll need to do something like an integral at the bottom but otherwise uh, you, you get what I mean this is the total energy leaving A1 times the fraction going from A1 to A2 which is the view factor all right so this is how we, how we kind of look at heat transfer between uh, black surfaces okay, from 1 to 2. Okay, so this is the, the most basic, but we kind of need to uh, add more complexity to help it, you know, uh, demonstrate more real, help it be more representative of a real system. So what is more representative of a real system? Okay. So it, it in a real system is not just usually a uh, heat transfer between um, two black surfaces. Okay, maybe the surfaces are gray. Okay, but diffuse that we can tackle later, as I've spoken earlier. Maybe there is incoming radiation from outside, right? Because uh, I'm just going to delete this and I'm going to put this here. Okay, so let's say there's some radiation that can be coming here. So, all right. To to avoid confusion, uh, the textbook likes to use this word H, the symbolism H. See, it uses this uh, symbol H over here to denote uh, incoming radiation, okay? So H0 is the radiation from the 
outside from the external bits okay okay so there's there's going to be heat transfer from outside in and not only that uh, there might be heat transfer from a2 back to a1 so there may be some q 2 to 1 back there and notwithstanding okay i mean there's still uh, there is heat radiation from outside and heat transfer from a2 to a1 so these all have to be taken into account if you want to find out what the net heat transfer is so q1 to 2 this is not the net heat transfer this is the so-called raw heat transfer um, from a1 to a2 it will be um, as such all right so what we are interested in is the net q net the net heat transfer from a1 to a2 all right so how do we find out the net heat transfer okay so let's again do a simple diagram some energy balance so again i'll just use this h naught to arbitrarily indicate there's some external radiation and okay so this baby is going to emit some radiation like that okay and it's going to receive some radiation from a2 okay so a1 is going to receive uh, radiation from two sources one from the external one from this surface of course we have not included uh, conduction and radiation I mean conduction and convection which can be true also okay so there can be some conduction convection sources all right and the other thing that in a real system of course sometimes the medium in between can be like water or some other air uh, there can be a participating medium air or such because they can absorb and uh, and uh, emit radiation as well but that that and also they can do some scattering but we'll come into that a lot later on so uh we'll just do an energy balance okay for for this let's say this small area in da1 and that will be you know um integrated across this whole a1 so that we can get the uh, appropriate uh, you know, heat transfer correlation uh, heat transfer formula so to speak so for now we want to uh, based on heat transfer from a1 to a2 a2 to a1 so a1 to a2 will be a heat transfer a2 to a1 will be another heat transfer and heat transfer from external source develop an energy balance to determine net heat transfer from a1 okay so we just we are interested in the net heat transfer from a1 okay so what would that be like okay we'll take a we'll zoom in on this remember there are three sources let's uh, zoom in on da1 all right three sources Firstly, we have uh, emission from outside. So H is like we use it uh, for incident radiation. And then we have H from 2 to 1. All right. So that is incident radiation from 2 to 1. And then we have emission EB. Right, so this is all the radiation that's coming in. Okay, of course, uh, we are just looking at it from one side, 
we're only considering uh, this side of the surface we assume everything here is just opaque there's no interaction going on so this is an opaque surface and there's no incoming radiation from here otherwise we'll have to factor that in as well okay so what was the energy balance be so okay whatever uh, Q net that gets going out equals to outside radiation which is the EBT term the Q radiated the EBT term I'm not going to put the units or anything yet but that, that I'll do it somewhat later minus okay the contribution from H0 so the H0 term which is the external radiation term minus the H2 to 1 which is the heat transfer from 2 to 1 okay so that's what the energy balance looks like and once we get this energy balance uh, yeah, we have a fuller picture of what the heat net heat transfer from A1 looks like so just a diagram here okay and if we take a look back at the textbook we'll see this uh, expression here QR equals to EBR minus HR okay QR equals EBR minus HR so again this is net heat flux from let's say the uh, some uh, surface at the point R R is a XYZ coordinate so the A1 is here it will have a certain XYZ coordinate and it will be uh, so-called uh, denoted by the vector R alright so R is just you know coordinate geometry XYZ that's all we, we are doing and the uh, net heat is the black body term minus the incoming radiation which is uh, called H okay so what is this H term um, as we can see from this text the textbook uh, formulas we can decipher the we can decipher the uh, <coughs> terms here so it says HRDA equals the integral of blah 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 plus H not RDA so let me explain the, the easier one first H not RDA this is H not at this point which is the external radiation in and this term the integral of EBR the F DA uh, prime to DA DA prime this is basically the total heat transfer from this whole surface A2 to this little surface DA1 I mean this is what it represents physically speaking so what is EBRDA all right EBRDA okay uh, that represents uh, the heat transfer the total heat transfer coming off let's say this little small area here okay this little small area here all right E okay that okay I'll think I want to clear this up and I'll paste this here so EBRDA that is just the total heat transfer of this area here everything what fraction of this goes here that is determined by the view factor the F A2 to A1 or in this notation it will be da prime to da so it will have uh, this fraction of heat that's coming off will be intercepted by here and so that's what it is ebr da prime that is the total coming out and the fraction that that goes to this area da1 is determined by this view factor so see these three terms they uh, appear here EB DF and DA and what uh, the integral is doing is summing 
the contributions of all these small little areas that are impinging on this surface. So that is what the integral term is talking about. So how do we derive and write? We first go off by going QR. Okay, so the heat being coming off the surface, uh, the net heat coming off is equals to that EBT dA, right? So the net heat coming off this little small surface dA, right? It is EBT dA minus H not R dA. Okay, so this assumes a uniform temperature or else you can just put an R here. And then you have to subtract this integral term as well. Okay, and just to make sure we are talking about the same area, this is dA1, right? So the radiation coming off dA1 is this. The external radiation impinging on dA1 is this. And the the term that says oh we are we are getting um, we're getting all the areas from uh, da2 to uh, from a2 to da1 it will be this the integral term so this whole area coming on here so you have to integrate across the whole a2 e b T two R prime because the um, okay this one is the emission coming off the first da one this one is the emission coming off this one that's why we have to use a different notation okay so as said before we need the view factor because that's the fraction coming off the thing so it goes from the a2 to da1 all right and the area in question is of course the a2 all right so this is how we find our little relation then if we want to simplify we divide throughout by da1 so we did we'll simplify by doing so Okay, you know, simplify by doing so. And if we studied view factors uh, before, we know that uh, there's a reciprocity relation with this. Okay, let me do a reciprocity relation. This is uh, something hopefully you're familiar with, uh, view factor algebra. I did not go through it. Okay, the A1, the F from the A1 to the A2. I did not prove this, but I just uh, take my word for it. Equals to dA2, dF from dA2 to dA1. So this is the reciprocity relation. And if we divide throughout by dA1, we'll just get this little chunk we have here. All right. This is reciprocity relation. Substituting back, we get this very neat expression for how to uh, get the differential heat transfer from this uh, little area A1. Of course, if we want to, uh, if we want to. Um, have it done across this whole surface, then we'll need to do integration as usual. But now we don't really need so much of that. And of course, the the view factor, it is just uh, what it is here. Cosine theta, cosine theta prime, pi s squared, or over, um, yeah, this whole chunk, thingamajig here. 
this is something we've uh, discussed before the view factor um, is as such okay so you can see from what we have uh, described in the last video the view factor is as such from DA2 to D, uh, DAI to DAJ or DA1 to DA2 it will be like this and it will be okay so uh, we'll need to uh, put in this uh, formula here so the DA2 will still kind of pop up as well but not much uh, more, yeah, in a way we can, I suppose, calculate. Not, not calculate, I mean like, uh, it pops up uh, over there. That's all I'm going to say. So, cos theta 1, cos theta 2 over pi s squared. S squared, s is the distance between the two, the dA1 and dA2, wherever we are calculating the thing. So, this is where the view factor comes in. So, yeah, this is how this is how we we find the uh, this is how we find the heat transfer between surfaces. Of course, if you're not going to do um, integrals, right? If you're not going to do integrals, um, sometimes it's uh, they do this a uh, breaking up of. Uh, breaking up of surfaces for example let's say we cut the surface like that okay so instead of uh, using infinitely many points and doing an integration okay we'll cut up the surface so that's easy to calculate so we we uh, take this whole surface as uh, one uniform surface then we'll just do the same thing over here you'll you'll have some radiation coming in it will be emitting some radiation and then there will be heat transfer from this to this let me use different color from this one to this from this to this from this to this this surface to this surface this surface to this surface and this surface to this surface and then we'll find the net heat that is coming off this surface so that is what breaking up uh, the surfaces is about. Okay, so probably in the next video we will try. We'll go through one of the examples. This is maybe this example five point one, and uh, I'll just try and explain what's going on uh, physically, so that uh, it's easier to uh, visualize uh, all this thing of magic going on in one of the questions. Okay, and then. Hopefully, we can look at uh, some uh, black, sur uh, gray surfaces over here, and 5.3, and we can take a look at what this J is, which is uh, radiosity, and that is some something pretty important to uh, kind of uh, explain and go through. So I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.